Ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. I'm Cincinnati Man. I'm here to talk about season one, episode six, titled Swish of Brithing of Brithington. Brethington. <laughs> and uh hey, let's get into it. Simon. Hey, he's he's trying to be he, you know, he may be mature like a he seem like be mature like a man, but he is still a boy. He didn't know about his people's finances. He didn't know that rent was tripled. He don't want to go on the tradition of the tours. He just he he is finding out the hard way about how when you push aside your responsibilities that you can't get away from them, that they become problems, bigger problems. Those those so called everyday responsibilities become problems and and stress. Um, now and now he's ignoring Daphne because he's so stressed out. It, it, he seems like he always has to have some sadness in his life. He can't just be content and be like, yep, I got everything figured out. Daphne. I'm going to tell y'all this right now. I can see how some people can consider her a victim because of the traditions and everything. But it, but she's arrogant. She thought she could walk into his lands and just and just be how she was at home. This is a new land, new territory. She should have learned tradition. She didn't want to listen to Miss Carlson. And then she messed up the pig. She messed up the pig thing because you got to pick one of the, the you got to pick the prize pig. She didn't do it. Then she find out later the townspeople hate her because she had to pick between the three pigs, three little pigs, <laughs> she had to pick between the three big pigs to, to pick which which farmers were going to feed the rest of the town for the year. And that's a tradition that she didn't know nothing about. And now she knows and, you know, and now everybody's going to have pork chops and um, and bacon. So anyway, um, when she tried to figure out that um, Simon lied about not having kids, she, he might have lied about not having kids. Her Her way of dealing with it was, hey, I'm going to have him finish inside of me this time. And then I'm gonna tell him how he's a liar and he tricked me. What kind of toxic? What kind of toxic shit is that? So you're gonna have a baby with a man that you don't trust, don't think loves you, and you're just like, well, you're gonna give me this kid. That is insane and terrifying. And also, let's, let's be let's be real, ladies. It's really about this, Daphne. Look, if, if you was gonna entrap a guy into having a baby in the middle of sex. The guy would be on top of you and you would interlock your legs and hold them in and just hold on. You just hold on to dear life. She did the opposite, which, okay, yeah, I get it. We're human beings. Somebody's done the opposite. She she was riding him and just gently put her, gently put her hand. She's 120 pounds. He could have threw her off. Get out of here. I ain't believe, I ain't believe one bit that she held him down. He was like, oh, he's like, Daphne, what, what have you done? He's all dramatic. What have you done to me? You're like, dude, you get it to yourself. You could have knocked her off. You could get her off of me. And then anybody else find the conversation weird when she was standing and talking and I was like, she didn't even clean herself off. I'm like, like, cause he finished, but she's standing and just having a regular. That, and that is the writer's fault. That is the writer's fault that I have to talk about this. They put it on screen. It had to be mentioned. This shit's disgusting. Um, so yeah, this is, this is, she, she is, she is crazy. She is officially crazy. Daphne's crazy. Now, the Miss Thompson versus uh, Penelope and Colin, the old triangle thing, is very interesting. Uh, you know, she, Miss Thompson, I didn't know she spoke spoke uh, French. Uh, that was interesting. And also, you know, uh, Feathertons, they better get their finances together because I don't know if, uh, I, I don't know if um, this is even going to work because each kid to get married, how are they gonna pay for it? But back to back to Miss Thompson. Um, she looking at Penny like, look, I got this. Ain't nothing you can do, uh, P- Pen. I'm looking at you like, I, I ain't. This, this is my man. You get over it. Get out my way. It don't matter. I have found who I want to be with. You can send me letters. You you can say, you can say, uh, the letters are fake. But guess what, dude? Never the guy that. Get impregnated or has never written her once back or stopped, I should say. So what is what it is. And Colin's trying to be a good man and then he's doing the right thing. And and everybody's like, look, this is going too fast. This is for the fa- uh, the the Bridgetons found out that she was even pregnant, which is gonna be crazy because they're gonna have so much dishonor between each other. There's gonna be some beef for real. I didn't even think about that. 
um, you know, Penn can Penn Penn can pretend that it was all about being good hearted, but Miss Thompson saw right through it. So Penn Penn got some pettiness in her, and it's very interesting. And I wonder how Whistle Down. I was shocked and loved when the Whistle Down paper came at the end, and it said, "Hey, she's pregnant." She didn't lied to everyone. That was amazing. I was like, yeah. I was like, what? I could not believe it. I, I'm here for it. This is about to be a mess. Um, and Colin looks so sad and so much dis- dishonor is coming to the family after this. Um, let's see what else is going on. I think that my, I, I think that might sum up everything I'm feeling right now. It made it mainly focused on um. Penn and Miss Thompson and oh, let me tell you right now, Eloise, a a. I, I say almost every episode, sit your ass, sit your ass down. You are trying to get Miss Whistleblower killed, huh? You 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 are so vain in your attempt to find her. You don't even think you don't even care about the ramifications of what will happen with that. It's ridiculous. I, I don't. I've never seen somebody so happy to out somebody that that doesn't realize like the major ramifications of that happening. But whatever. I'm Cincinnati man. Thank you to every anyone and everyone watching. Um, a lot more stuff coming. I'm gonna try to catch up on Bringerton. I got a other show. I'm not even gonna mention other stuff. I gotta watch. You, it's gonna pop up. You gonna be like, why are you watching that? But. It's his name, man. Take care.